Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to select all the objects on a single layer in a drawing. Uh, if you have anything else you'd like to learn, don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe and like the video. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Okay. So in today's video, we're going to go over different ways to select lines and objects text uh, in a drawing. To start, uh, like, the like I said, we're going to go over how to select things using uh, the layer that they're on as the, the kind of criteria. So there's a few ways to select objects in AutoCAD. Uh, to do it this way, we're going to use the quick select command. So you can right click anywhere in the drawing in your model space or in paper space and hit quick select. You can also type in uh, quick select into the command line and you're going to get the quick select menu. To get started, you're going to want to select entire drawing. For object typed, you can leave it multiple, although you can uh, define which kinds of objects you're going to grab. So if you just want, say, the hatches on a particular layer, you can do that. You can choose hatch and then a layer, and then choose the uh, layer. For us, we're going to choose multiple, so it chooses everything on the layer, and we're going to choose uh, the hatch layer. I've got it called hatch because I've split things up into, into layers. So this hatch uh, layer contains these red hatches. So it's going to select those for us when we hit OK. You can include in a new selection set or you can exclude, so you can pick everything except for these. Uh, you want to make sure it's set to equal, uh, although if you want to select things that are not on the hatch layer, you can select not equal. And you can add it to a current selection if you already had a few things uh, selected. So we're going to hit OK. And you can see all of these uh, red hatches are dashed now because they're selected. And you can also see by looking at the property menu, it has 139 uh, items. And I think that's because one of these is exploded, so it's actually individual lines. But there you go. That's how to select using the quick select command. Next, I'm going to show you how to select objects using the select similar command. And to get to that, you're going to right click as well. This time, we're going to select something uh, in your drawing that you want to select similar of. So we're going to select the same set. So we're going to click one of these uh, hatches and we're going to right click. And as long as it's selected, it doesn't matter where you right click. And you're going to hit select similar. And you can see it's selected similar objects, which are red hatches. Uh, this way I find a lot quicker than going uh, through the quick select menu. But if you want multiple styles, of objects like hatches and lines and text on a layer, then you'd use the quick select. This just selects similar objects. So if you wanted to change all of these hatches, select one, select similar, and now you can go into here and change them all at once. It'll save you a lot of time and hopefully a lot of effort. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you just leave them in the comments below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers. What you call a fill of an object or a shape in America. So you can choose the boundaries of your uh, of your hatch by either selecting an object or picking a point inside of them, a closed object. And I'm going to show you both. So to start, we're going to pick a point. Uh, and before that, you can select which pattern you want to use, or you can do that 